So after the uh, last video, I ordered some more motors. Um, took my own recommendation, bought some Surpass Hobby KK series motors. So these are the red ones. Um, they are directly comparable to the G Cool RC ones. I thought I guess them in a bit different. So these are both 36 60 sized motors. And if we have a look on the end, one is rated at 3100 kV and the other is rated at 4200 kV. So we're going to see what they do. Um, if they're 36 60 sized, which are 10 millimeters longer, are uh, as good as the um, 3650s I tried the other week. So hopefully they're pretty good. Let's uh, open them up quickly. They should be in the same packaging. So they come with these uh, little bits of paper that tell you all the different motors on. Um, yep, yeah, pretty much the same setup, same wiring. Um, it says the same thing on the motor in the same place, uh, but it is 10 millimeters longer. I'll just go and get a 36. 50 to show you the length difference. So here's the 3650 and there is the 3660. So you can see it is a little bit longer, they're both the same diameter, 36 millimeters obviously. Um, but yeah, it's just a longer motor, that is all. Um, these 3660s. Uh, both of them are 3.5, or what is it? No, it's 3.175 or like 3.2 millimeter shafts, not the five millimeter shaft version. So don't get confused with those. They do do these in both 3.2 and five millimeter shafts. These are the 3.2. So we've got the. 4200 and the 3100 kV out, stick them on the motor tester and see how it goes. So we've got the usual test set up for anyone who doesn't know, we've got the Sky RC brushless motor analyzer, we have a Turnergy Nanotech um, 5.6 amp hour 2S2P 2S LiPo, that's 5200C um, Perfectly adequate for this job. Uh, just to power the motor analyzer, and we've got a we've got the 3100 hooked up first. Didn't mention the pricing earlier. These motors were both under 16 pounds on eBay um, for the 3660s, so they're actually all cheaper than the 3650s I bought the other week, which is quite funny. So you get more for your money because it's a bigger motor. But is it better? That is the question. Are they any good? Let's test the KV. So it seems to have stabilised. Oh no, it's going up a bit more. Right, that'll do. So this is supposed to be 3100. It's only come out at 2933. That's a bit disappointing. Um, you can see the voltage, 7.5 volts, 3.7 amps. You'd expect fairly low amperage from a low kV motor like this one. Uh, it's not too warm. It's not very loud. It's only doing 22,000 RPM. So it's pretty slow. Uh, that is a little bit disappointing. Uh, that it's not matching its rating because uh, the ones I tried the other week, the 3650s were all pretty close, plus or minus 100. I think one of them was like 110 out, uh, but this one is like 167 out, so that's not great. Alright, let's go to the noise level test. I expect this one to be um, oops, fairly quiet because it's not very fast. I can actually select it. There we go. Yeah, so there we go. Only 80 decibels on this one. 
which is expected being a lower KV motor. I think we had a couple last week which were over 90. Um, one of those was 6,900 KV though, so it was doing over double the RPM of this one. So, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. We'll, um, I'll just test it again actually. I'll uh, bump it up slowly. Give it another chance. Mm. Yeah, it's it's not really any better. It's about 150 out. Still, over 150 kV out, so not great. Um, I mean, it runs quiet and fairly cool and low amperage so there is that um, you could run this one on 3S quite easily, the ones last week 2S only, this one you could run on 3S anyway, let's move over to the 4200 right, so we've got the 4200 kV on the bench now um, hopefully this one does closer to its rating than its uh, 3100 kV brother over here these were pretty cheap though, so uh, I guess I can't really complain that much. Alright, I'll just bomb it up. Okay, so straight away we can see this one's much higher on the amps. It's also making a very nice whining noise. But it doesn't seem to be vibrating very much. Well, yeah, pretty disappointing again on the KV. Well, well under rating. It's rated at 4,200 this one. And it's actually closer to a 3,800. If they'd rated this at um, 3,800 and it had done 3,868, I'd be impressed at this price. Um, but rating it at 4,200 when it's clearly 3,868, not great. Uh, the amperage is obviously a fair bit higher than 3100, but you'd expect that because it spun uh, faster, 28,000 RPM. You've got an extra 6,000 RPM there, I think. Um, yeah, that's strange. Last week, um, when we were measuring those other motors, it was actually the opposite way around, where the, the lower KV ones were taking more amps, uh, but I think they were just not the best quality motors. Um, whereas these do seem to be more consistent with each other. Let's do the noise test. But they're definitely not as good as the 3650. Eight four decibels. Not bad. That's uh that's pretty average I'd say for um for these brushless motors, they normally, when I've tested them, are about uh, 80 to 85. So, yeah, that's a little disappointing to be honest. Um, both of these motors missed out quite significantly on their racing. Um, however, I still could recommend them um, as long as you go into the purchase knowing, um, having watched this video that you're not going to quite get the speed that you want. So if, if you're looking at going like uh, 40 miles an hour or whatever, um, just bear in mind that you might only do like 35 with these motors and you might need to put a new pinion gear on to go up a couple of teeth just to get your speed up. But, I mean, for the price, 16 quid uh, a piece, just under 16 quid actually posted can't really go wrong. They're still uh, decent quality. They've got the, the solid bullets. Um, and they are 3650s, or 3660s rather, so they will have a bit more torque, uh, put out a bit more power if you've got a one-tenth monster truck, um, or maybe a truggy. These would be ideal. So, yeah, there you go. 32 millimeter shaft as well, remember. So, not as good as it says on the can, 
Uh, but as long as you bear that in mind when you're buying them, maybe buy the next spec up to the one you actually want, and uh, can't go wrong really. They're not uh, too noisy or anything, so... Anyway, that will be it for this one. See you in the next one. Goodbye.